Welcome to Relatively Refined. My name is Patty. You're getting a sneak peek into one of the items in today's thrift haul. I'm enjoying a nice cup of tea. Hi everyone, welcome to Relatively Refined. My name is Patty, and in today's video, I have a good old thrift haul for you. My local charity thrift store had quite a bit this last week. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up and how I'm going to use it in my home. So I'm going to start with the item that is not from that store. And that is this small wooden cutting board. I have been looking for a small wooden cutting board for a while because I have a few large ones and sometimes I'm just wanting to cut up a lemon or um, make a salad for myself and I just need something small that doesn't take up much space and um, that I can just whip out. So this I picked up for two dollars. This was from the Restore. It has a handle. I washed it and I put some mineral oil on it and it's nice and soft and it'll be great. So I'm going to show you where I keep this in my kitchen and uh, this was two dollars so this was from the restore everything else is from the charity thrift store that i was talking about okay so i may not be in this video very much my face may be cut off but that's okay i really just want you to see the items that i picked up and how i'm going to use them and what i paid for them so i'm going to start with this glass bowl. If you remember, or if you watched my thrifted kitchen tour, I talk about having these graduated glass bowls. I got them from Williams Sonoma years ago. And over the years, some of them have broken. And I always look for them at thrift stores. This one was 50 cents from this store. It's in perfect shape, no cracks or nicks. And it is a size of one that I broke. So I was thrilled to have this. This is a fantastic price. Usually I'll see these for three or four dollars, three to five dollars. I've never seen one for 50 cents. So I was super happy to have that. I need to clean it up. But again, if I see these glass bowls at the thrift store, I am probably going to get them. I'm going to add this to my drawer and I will enjoy that for 50 cents. Maybe I'll put it back here so you can see that. Um, also in here is something that will not surprise anybody. It is a tea cup or a mug. It is this beautiful botanical print. And um, it has a lid, which is so great for me because while my tea is steeping, it's cold where I live. So if it's not covered, it will get cold fast. And inside of it, and it has a, it's a vented lid, it has a little, a little steam vent on it. And then inside is a basket. So I can use loose tea, put it in there, and set it inside here to steep. Put the lid on and it will steep and stay nice and hot. This is, I'm 100% sure this has never been used. The basket is pristine and the little tab that you use to pick it up, I don't know if this, I need the white behind me, is just in perfect shape. The mug itself can be used for coffee or whatever. It's in beautiful shape. It has these gorgeous botanicals on it which I can't see because I'm on my glasses, but super pretty purples and pinks, my favorite colors. And the brand is Benjamin and Barton Paris, it says on the bottom. This was 75 cents. And I don't need a mug at all, but I was really happy to see this because I have a basket for loose tea that I use all the time. So now I have a second one. And this one, I can steep 
I can have somebody over and we can have tea together and I don't have to worry about emptying the basket and rinsing it to put a different flavor of tea and I can brew two simultaneously. And um, this will be added right to my cabinet with my mugs and maybe I'll let something in there go, but this is pretty skinny so I think it'll fit. <laughs> So that was a great little find for 75 cents. Let's see. This, I have something in mind for this. This is a milk glass planter, and it's got this pretty hobnail design on it. No marking. Uh, it was 50 cents. And if you can tell the size of this, it's about the size of a small potted plant. And my plan for this is to put a shamrock plant in it for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm hoping the lighting is okay in here. Maybe I need to get closer. Um, so this is perfect for what I envisioned. I will put a little shamrock plant in it, either put it out in my living room or on my table and just enjoy it. It's also, I have seen people at the holidays put votive candles and different things in them and the glow through milk glass is spectacular. But anyway, this will be a nice little uh, tabletop edition for 50 cents. I couldn't pass it up. And very there's so many uses for just a white uh, planter or votive holder. Over here. And the final two items are clothing items. The uh, both Paula and Kathleen have done, and actually I have done one too, um, thrifted outfits and thrifted clothing hauls. And people seem to like them. So I thought it was important to include a few things that I did pick up for clothing. I don't generally show them in my hauls because I usually take them out and throw them in the wash and I don't think about showing them on the channel. But I think since that seems to be of an interest to some people that I will show them. So I got two, two items, both white. I'm not sure how I'm going to show this on camera. We'll see. So the first one is this very wrinkly, um, but classic white button up shirt. It is cotton. It is from the brand Banana Republic, which is a brand that I really like and I seem to find a lot of at the thrift store. And for being white, there is not a mark on it. It is, I think it's a medium, size medium, so it'll be a little bit roomy on me, which is great. I can wear it under a sweater with the collar sticking out or unbuttoned over a tank top for a nice lightweight shirt for the summer and it'll protect me from the sun. So this is a four season uh, shirt. Definitely needs to be ironed, um, but it has a nice little detail. It's slightly longer in the back than in the front. And I, as soon as I wash this, I know uh, this will become a wardrobe staple. So this was $2. This particular thrift store, all the shirts are the same price. This is another thing I love about the store. It's, you don't have to ask. Nothing's marked, but there's like a, shirts are $2, sweaters are $3, pants are $3, dresses are $4. So it's really, it's very easy to shop. And I cannot wait. You'll see it, I'm sure, in upcoming videos. And the last item that I picked up, also a clothing item and also white, is, I have a funny story about this, is this super duper soft white crew neck sweatshirt. It is a size large, so it will fit like oversized on me, which will be great. I'm going to back up so that maybe you can see. Um, but it's nice and big and boxy. It is the softest sweatshirt ever, and it is from the brand Athleta, and I love Athleta clothing. They do run, uh, Athleta brand clothing runs big, so this is a large, so it's going to be quite big, but again, white with not a mark on it. 
I don't know how people do this because all of my white clothing has marks, particularly on the cuffs. I don't know why, but I seem to always, um, I don't know if it's the way I wear them, but I seem to always have them dirty in the cuffs. And even after bleaching, they don't always come clean. But this couldn't be softer. It is just awesome. And this, they charge me $2 for. And this will be super on the weekends with jeans or um, just running out to the grocery store or working around the house. Again, it's white, so I probably won't wear this outside very much, but I don't have a white sweatshirt, so I was happy to have this. Funny story about this sweatshirt when I brought it home. This is also the store that I donate items to. And when I brought it home, my daughter said, Mom, I think you donated that. <laughs> I did donate a white athletic sweatshirt, but it was not this one. It was a different style. It was also a size small or maybe even extra small. Um, and but it, but it really was a lot like this. So uh, we got a kick out of that because I don't know about you, but I have actually gone to the thrift store and seen items that I donated and had them in my hand. On to my regret. There was a cream and sugar set in this exact milk glass hobnail pattern on a little plate. It was so sweet and it was $3. And I had to make some decisions because this is a cash only store and I only had so much cash. So I had to think about, I really, I knew I wanted, I was not leaving there without that glass bowl. Um, I wanted the planter because I'm hoping to do a uh, St. Patrick's Day spring table and I have a vision for this. I was not leaving that mug there because I knew somebody would get that. And clothing in this particular thrift store moves quickly because that's what they have primarily. There was also a couple other things that I'm regretting. If I'd had m more cash, I would have gotten them all. But there was a serving um, set, a fork and spoon large stainless steel serving set made in England that was super beautiful, $3 for the pair. And I'm worried about that. If that's there, that's coming home with me because you know me and um, serveware. So I may be going back Thursday, which would be today when this video comes out. So I will post an Instagram and let you know if I was successful or if I decided to go back and get any of those things. So I think that's it for my haul today. This was a real pleasure being able to go into a thrift store that actually had quite a bit of stuff, not the same old stuff that I'm used to seeing, fair prices, a good selection, and it is one of my favorite local charity thrift stores. So get out there, check out what there is in the stores, find some clothing, some serveware, some replacement pieces, and um, you're supporting a local charity. Before I say goodbye, I just wanted to share these gorgeous yellow roses with you. These were presented to parents at my son's senior night basketball game. And I don't think I've ever had yellow roses and I think they are stunning. Thank you so much for watching. I really cannot thank each and every one of you enough. Our channel has come so far, and that's thanks to all of you. So if you enjoy this content, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content. And I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. On the screen are a few more videos from Relatively Refined for you to enjoy.